<coughs> all right, all right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and for the first time in like <sighs> must have been a week now, maybe a little more than a week, like eight nine days. I finally got a decent night's rest. I definitely got like around eight hours of sleep, you know, mostly un uninterrupted. And I even wound up uh, caving and uh, snacking on a little bit of potato chips too, you know. So it's uh, pr it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. And, uh, you know, I even uh, weighed myself. I'm actually down to 168.6, and that's with drinking water and still not fully going to the bathroom yet, because, you know, I gotta wait for my cycle to, uh, you know, complete, you know, to put it lightly. So, uh, yeah, definitely, it's definitely working. Uh, you know, uh, under eating, just uh, uh, like actively under eating, but still maintaining, like, you know, good protein amount so I don't lose my muscle mass, right? And my body doesn't go too crazy with the hunger. So, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, uh, maybe by the end of this month, maybe I can get myself down to, like, 165. That'd be really good. Uh, actually, I'm curious, because XCC got banned, and he's starting to realize the censorship bullshit's actually starting to become really annoying, too. I don't know who this person is. Uh, yeah. Actually, let me see. Um... <clears throat> I am curious. Why are they doing Miami? Because I'm actually curious. Because, because uh, you know, since I'm moving up Temple, Florida, still it looks like, you know, I want to know what's going on. Uh, how does it really matter about CWD? It's not about race. Well, yeah, it's totally about race. Okay. Uh, so you got banned over this. Uh, all right, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Let's see. Uh, profile clicks eight. Hmm. Yeah, it's still mostly a lot of left leaning or shit lips. Probably still. Uh. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, go ahead. It's juice for twenty four hours. Yes. Uh, yep. That's how it goes. Where is she? Oh yeah. So anyway, I didn't do any research at all. In fact, I'm still refreshing the page. Oh. And, uh, oh, that's pretty nice. Hope I can capture this uh, 6200. Well, actually, it looks like a lot of shit's going up. Oh, what's going on? I'm gonna make sure we also refresh this too. All right, because uh, we had a, like a couple, like two or three straight trading sessions of like just straight like catastrophe. So it's not going to be a bounce eventually. I I didn't, I didn't even mention that yesterday, but it looks like today is that bounce. So Bitcoin's at 713 or that's date. Still 11 for this week, so it's very low. Uh, Bitcoin dies at 64. Point. Is this correct? This looks like yesterday's numbers. Yeah, okay, I guess it is correct. 64.8 percent. 24 volume is 1.2.2 billion. So again, just nobody really wants to do any crypto right now, which is fine. I mean, it just it just means that we're just going to be uh, just have to. I I think the market also knows that because it's an election year, they're probably just going to have to. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. In 2016, we had the election year. Bitcoin didn't go up until after uh, Trump got elected. So that basically means that market uncertainty was gone. I completely forgot about that. So barring some sort of major thing happening, uh, crypto is actually not going to go up until after the election. I can't believe I didn't even put that together. So yeah, oh, that sucks. That means shit. I mean, can I at least go to ten thousand? Because I really don't want to sell like well, Litecoin's actually not bad. Forty bucks, five bucks. Bitcoin's at ninety five forty. Yeah, I mean obviously it's not enough, but I guess there's not much we can do about it right now. Doggy coin three twelve million market cap. Um, I don't even really care about Steam and Hive, because I, because to be honest, I just don't want to scroll down anymore. Twenty five cents for Hive, Steam is at twenty point four eight cents. It's also because of this too, because I, I would prefer if Steam and Hive were like joined at the hip, so I wouldn't have to scroll down as much. Okay, so we're looking at a massive. Uh, why is Tesla going down? Uh, we got a massive rally. So actually, that's a significant rally. Holy shit. Of course, I'll have their market route. Um, okay, Michael Dell, we hope it's going reasonably well. My grand line sees 9% at 8. Why you look at me? How far on 8? Um, coronavirus for answers from industry experts. Okay, so there's literally nothing here. I guess we'll open this up, but from the way I can tell, there's just nothing here. All right. 
GMC six to eight as usual. Or a four coin three hundred eight to two three twenty one. So it still looks like it's still trying to figure out what its price is. So it could be anywhere from three hundred eight to four hundred. But it does look like it's stabilizing around the three hundreds area. Uh, oh okay. Yeah, hold on, I gotta talk to Mitch. Oh, okay, I. Uh, yep, so 404 are doing pretty well. I have not been selling any, I mean, I hardly mint any new 404 since the numbers are so small, so I'm just like, yeah, I'd rather just hold it. Uh, but Mitch is working on an optional upgrade that will make this well even more stable and more, um, <coughs> more, uh, well, what words he used? Uh, I still, I, I still want to do, I'm still, my mind's still on other things, so like, I, like I rage quitted Elite Dangerous because like I spent an hour trying to do one delivery and only to get killed at the end by a stupid NPC and there was nothing I could do with it. I was so fucking stupid. So I was like, yeah, fuck this Atari game. You know, I've been buying a lot of games lately. You know, I, I still, I, it's like, ugh. Uh, let's see. Uh, he said, oh, okay, yeah. He, it's, he said it's also going to increase the speed of the wallet, too. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. But it's still optional. So it's probably going to be really good for uh, BTC pop and cracks. Uh, and yeah, CoinGecko, oh yeah, I mentioned yesterday, CoinGecko did fix things. So uh, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. And then this upgrade will actually go into, uh, you know, JMC coin upgrade, you know, whenever the hell we get around to that. Uh, two by two is at 87 to 88. Um, very nice. Oh, two by two coins going ballistic at this point. Two by two coins going to go so well because at the point where it's probably going to start going down, crypto is going to go up and skyrocket. By then, Joe Biden will probably be president. All right. The election would have happened. A lot of uncertainty would already have been. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When you are, when you now find out, um, there's got to be a word or a verb for it. When the uncertainty has been has passed and people now know what's really up, yeah, it's going to be really nice. Of course, you know, politically and culturally, it's going to be really bad. But uh, I was looking to uh, another live stream of the um, uh, leader of the Great Rupper, I think, because I can't even mention his name anymore, which means I got to stop actually. Actually, I think in a way I have. Uh, yeah, he actually said, uh, yeah, what's the point of voting Republican, right? They only show for corporations and their donors, and that's literally it. Like, in fact, things are worse now with the Republicans than they were under Obama in terms of, you know, furthering right-wing goals. So it's totally useless. And it's like, yeah, you know, I agree. You know, it's time for the GOP to end. Right? It, yeah, it's like, like The Last Jedi, right? If the movie was any good, time for the Jedi to end. Well, you know, um, yeah, I mean, the Republican Party has to go, right? But now there's still some good people in the Republican Party, so we got to figure out how to, like, uh, bring those people... Like, I'm not sure. Like, the whole situation is complicated, right? We need the Boomers gone. We need the Mitch McCuckles gone. So, I don't know. Uh, it, which definitely I need a purge. And then definitely a change in the mindset. That would require that I become famous, but it's pretty obvious that... Uh, uh, is, by the time I get famous, it already will be too late. So, yeah. uh, as if I want to be clear, the wall will be compatible. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, chances are I'm going to wait for others to try out the upgrade before I upgrade uh, in case of bugs. Uh. Let's see, where are we? Oh, yeah. So, anyway, compound coin 6200, So, someone's going really ham on compound. So, that's very nice. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. So, it does look like there's no. Uh, hits risk, fear returns to Bitcoin index. No, apparently, the US has planned. Pentagon documents reveal the US has planned for Bitcoin rebellion. Okay, see, this is what I've been talking about for a long time. And with Joe Biden in charge, there'll be no one left to stop him. Uh, bulls work to recover the security. Trump is a Bitcoin. Trump's new top bank regulator is a Bitcoin bull, so at least that's good. Well, the good news is, at least there's a lot of people that like Bitcoin. Um, 
Okay, so at least we have some pretty good... Serious? Uh, what? Oh, so coin... Yeah, see, this is why I don't want to use Coinbase. All right, uh, they, 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 they ban conservatives, and then now they're selling our data to U the U.S. government, like a bunch of F-words. Uh, I mean, I can understand you're going to have to do it, but, like, you know, do you have to actively partner with them, you know? You know? And yeah, Brian Armstrong and most people at Coinbase are fucking Democrats and liberal shit libs. I mean, you know, it's like we're, we're under fucking martial law right now. Just left-wing version of it. Ripples, exit. No, I don't care. Colossus, no, don't care. No. Uh, it does look like. I just lost a part of its decentralized identity ecosystem, Ion. That is a pretty nice thumbnail. Oh, okay. So it's a tracking system. So yeah, we're not going to even go with that. People are going to get a the price of tomorrow. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't even do that. Yeah, but I mean, I don't expect anything major until after the election is resolved. All right, so Trump's now behind by 15%. Uh, let's refresh this. No, it's 14. So it's like 14, 15%. Okay. Um, like, this is just such a stupid fucking tweet. Uh, idiots. Uh, idiots. Uh, what? What did he find? I don't think so. Uh, wing, 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 from congressional county ban for Facebook ads wins GOP primary. Really, that's pretty good. That's also like, how is this not a violation of anything? Yeah, she's actually pretty decent looking. That's in this picture. Uh, she definitely has to watch what she eats, though, because it also turns out as a woman, like it's actually easier to gain weight as a woman too, simply because of genetics, which really sucks. Uh, I think that might also be because they require less calories per day. So that's I think that's the primary reason why, right? A, a man just requires two thousand calories on average, you know, but women not require fifteen hundred calories. That five hundred calorie difference is actually a lot. All right, very good. Um, let's see. Yikes! Uh, blah blah blah. It's not you know, apply all right. It's pretty uh, short form if possible. You know, we do with them and then negotiate. We have no country left. Yeah, well, that's clip. Yeah, I mean, at this point, the uh, you know, the the rates, the rate, the the borderline racism angle just doesn't you know work, right? Because he's he's still using the master persuasion bullshit. Just target other countries. Yeah, well, that doesn't work. All right. That doesn't work. Um, and he's trying to attack his mental agility and senility. I mean, it, it, like, it's just bad. Like, this is just bad. I mean, part of the problem is uh, I'm now seeing why playing to win is now starting to, like, because, like, that's so ingrained in the American culture and the way I think, right? Especially as conservatives. But it's clearly, like, a big trap. It's, it, it's a trap. All right, you know it's quicksand. All right, Trump's playing to win here, right? As you can see from his Twitter. All right, there's no infinite game on his Twitter. Right, that's why he's gonna. That's why he's fucking gonna lose. All right. Uh, Joe Biden on the other hand, let's see. Uh, California, Trump can't deliver. Uh, yep, that's true. He, he then he's afraid. He, okay, let's actually take a look at this ad. Donald Trump too scared to face the people, too weak to lead. That's actually, this is actually already pretty good. The nation marches for justice. And like a deer in the headlights, he's paralyzed with fear. He doesn't know what to do, so he hides in his bunker. Then he's afraid he looks too weak. So he has tear gas and flash grenades used on peaceful protesters. Just for a photo op. The cries for justice grow. Where is Donald Trump? Too scared to face the people. Interesting. Too small to meet the moment. Too weak to lead. Hmm. I feel this ad could have been stronger, but I mean, the fact that Trump's literally doing nothing. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty effective ad. Again, Trump's not showing any empathy, right? You know, he, he's not addressing any of the protesters here, and uh, just nothing. Even when conservatives were protesting a lockdown, Trump really didn't do much. He just said, 
Yeah, it's just, yeah, a lot of people protest. It's like... <sighs> like the stupid fuck. I really do hope that when he does lose, he loses like 40 million followers or something. Uh, and then he doesn't have much. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think of this ad? Uh, fairly decent ad. Since, fairly decent ad since Trump has basically done nothing and shows no empathy to anyone. What do you think of this ad? Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see if we can glean anything new. Stock strike, recurrent to cloud, three major indicators, rocket, I rise, coronavirus, coronavirus case in some parts of the country. Yeah, I mean, they're probably going back to, first of all, this, this lockdown shit's never going to end, right? They're going to keep rolling. They're gonna keep rolling out the riots and the coronavirus, and then they're just gonna keep rolling this shit out until, like, I think it might actually somewhat end when Joe Biden becomes president, because because then at that point Joe Biden will get the blame for everything, and the and you know globalists don't want that, right? They just want to get rid of Trump and basically the conservatives, right? So they don't want to push their hand too much. Besides, they kind of have to start worrying about that Seattle autonomous zone, because yeah, I mean, it annoys everybody, but you know, it will easily destroy the globalists too. And what are they gonna say? It's like, oh, it's just conservatives. No, no they're not. It's just a bunch of left wing hippies. <laughs> so you know, it's not gonna work. And uh, and Ice Cube actually retweeted a Ben Garrison cartoon about like you know the narrative with the face masks and shit and all the bullshit. And yeah, Ice Cube gets it. He gets it. Truck caves nervously by Thursday's close. Wow, the Dow dropped seven percent. Wait, what the hell is the twenty five eight two three? Holy shit, that's pretty big. So people are actually uh, pricing it. Okay, so people were pricing in the damn. So people actually. So a lot of the investors believe this rising coronavirus bullshit is actually uh, damaging. Okay. So that's what's going on. Stocks were overdue for a pullback around my 40% off the March low. The pricing what we visited over to today. Oh, that is true. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, like, we went up a lot and that was pretty fast. Now we had to go back down a lot. All right. So this is actually fine. Yeah. I think we're fine. Uh, but yeah, that's true. 40% off March lows. Yeah. Sounds about right. Because we're still way ahead of like what it was at the bottom of like this bullshit, right? When it was like what, 20,000, 19,000 for the Dow? And whatever the corresponding number for the S&P 500. Whoa, okay. All right, let's see. So this is the possible thumbnail. Uh, Pentagon Dynamics revealed the U.S.'s plan for a Bitcoin rebellion. Uh, struggle in the with Trump along the same area, leading the criticism announcement really just about his war against the while well, Generation Z. Rebellion uses Bitcoin to undermine and evade the establishment. Oh, yeah. See, they're already going after the Gripper uprising. Uh, apparently, we're getting up people born between the mid 99 and you start to steal mine and convert it to Bitcoin. Not just punched by the rest of the community. Uh, called the 2018 joint land area. The organization in 2019 will be in the world. We get the same which other part of the U.S. and around the world. I guess we're going to go. Some members of the U.S. and the U.S. social shit. I believe the system is ready again. Z Bellion, uh, encourages cyber tax to uh, support the assumption funding stolen cash and Bitcoin to make small below the threshold donation you know, where they're soon. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, most people cannot hack. That's like. Yeah, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. This is just an excuse to just steal everyone's Bitcoin. Probably John Rogan, the Islamist terrorists and anti caliph extremists, or caliph extremists, in fact, to the U.S. community, training off the generals and admirals. Those are the Wall Street and biggest world of age, which have exploded. By the reason, told the fight going control, apparently, that had been revealed after Florida. Matt Gates called the government to freeze the money demonstrators. Our country, I've all been killed, George Rogan. Uh, this would actually be pretty good, but how would you do that? One of the most important tools in the authoritarian toolkit is the ability to freeze the funding on general political defense. Blah, blah, blah. See, here's the problem. Like, this is why I wish the more, you know, I think I think the followers of the Groyper leader actually like crypto, but the leader himself does not like crypto. Like, that's a major problem. It's like, like, I, I'm not even confident if the Groypers can win now. Right, simply because, you know, I mean, they have the capability to win, of course, but 
I mean, they have they they have to really get up to speed on all this stuff. You know, one of the most important tools of third tool gives the ability. To, oh yeah, I read that. Uh, separating the infrastructure of money from the infrastructure of state power without making it that much harder for this type of political and other confiscation. Um, yeah, because you know, certain you do the corrupt man or community in the wake of Rand General Bank under Corona Bank. It appears, however, that capacity recession reserve might be just as relevant. Yeah. Right? I mean, they're already banning X. Oh yeah, I already did that. But I mean, they're already banning XQC and shit. So I mean, yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, oh god, I really do it. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, yeah. Oh, man, he pulls better when he's off current, so sure he's going to even try to hide him and hope Trump beats himself. A couple where we did that last election and lost. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, also, uh, egotistical. So head. New coronavirus. The riots. All right. I also misspelled the word. Yeah, but I don't really care. Um, I think that's the end of the Forbes article. Okay. All right. Uh, Trump's new top banking rate is a Bitcoin bull. Let's see. As what the saying, kind of them. I'll gonna. Okay. The new comptroller, Brian Brooks, has just become the new tab banking regular for Trump. His last job, general counsel to crypto powerhouse Coinbase. Oh, wow. Brooks' is acting comptroller makes it clear blockchain that probably takes blockchain to our problems. Yes, it totally is. Blockchain is a potential to connect up in a decentralized network, all kinds of data. That it has the ability to create large, friction free, digital networks of people. There's a huge and great problem in blockchain, blockchain, blockchain crypto. Blah, blah, blah. Brooks, 51 top of four, I like about his views of cryptocurrency. Truthfully, he locally for decentralized network in general. He cited Bitcoin at the to itself. Man of problems hindering more than 1,000 financial data under his purview. In June 2nd, proposed rulemaking. Brooks targeted a rewrite of existing regulations of banking digital tech signed by Brohauer AI blockchain tech. Uh, she could be incorporated strictly regulated banking ops. Uh, Brooks was especially good at the antiquated methods banks use to transfer money. It takes three days to try to send money from the US to Europe on the SWIFT network. Your money is at risk during that period, and even when the money is transmitted, foreign exchange fees are incurred, but digital representative valid on both sides of the track can eliminate that friction in these go. How is it, how is there a risk, right? Interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's why just doing international wire transfer is just sending mo like fiat money to fiat is just annoying and a pay huge pain in the ass. Other countries, Brooklyn, Mara, as Japan, and Brooks sees that as a threat to the U.S. Uh, he takes a shot at the slowing Fed. The U.S. is lagging on the U.K. in terms of faster payments. It took the Fed 10 years to get where they are with the Fed's faster ver faster payments versus blockchain, which is instantaneous and immutable. Yeah. He's right. Your skill of the EU created instant called TIPS, which the U.S. has yet to match. Brooks went out, MasterCard, MA, and Visa V are independently exploring the use of stable coins to keep up. Brooks expressed a deeper insight about the digital Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Chris and yet Brooks doesn't think um, federal government should issue digital money. I'm not in favor of going green. He says, I just don't think that's the world government. The test now the broad bureaucracy that governs banking and finance in the U.S. would influence the country. There's no spy. The interest of the headquarters in Tennessee, Washington, do 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 do. If he shocks us, Brooks, our terrible security guy, requires certain things. Oh my God! How how much? Okay, we're almost done. Brooks hopes that by really high regulation specifying uh, specific tech, he'll open the door to new tech, but we'll need to do a review. We'll need to get rid of the Uh, okay. Okay, we're not reading the. We're not going to read that. Uh, I'm very bullish on text. Now, uh, things like AI, like things that have very built leverage the wisdom of crowds, you can look at more data points than the human mind can possibly imagine. It gives you a better insight on what will most likely happen tomorrow. Assuming everything does become fair and mostly decentralized, what you're going to find is like people who are like 
uh, well, hey, people who play to win versus who play to play the infinite game, they're, they're all going to lose. So that basically means the Republican Party's finished. And number two, if you're actually, if you don't have any empathy, you're, you're, you're just not going to get too very far, right? You're just not going to get very far. Uh, it's kind of, it's going to be kind of shitty. I mean, on the one hand, it's going to be good for me because when I come out with my, you know, uh, game, right, story-wise, you know, there's going to be a really big market for, like, you know, America's been, and now everyone's censored and meaning, you know, fight against the Empire, and it sounds awfully familiar, not just to Star Wars, but to real life, you know. I could capture all that and maybe try to, like, if, like, video game cannot teach people to, like, what, like what I've known, right? If I can't teach empathy, if I cannot teach uh, the infinite game... And try to turn people into a flexible yet center right type of person, then it's over, right? Conservatives will have no place in the future, right? It'll, it'll actually just be a dead ideology, right? You know, so so enjoy your. Um, oh, I can't even say the word that I want to say, but enjoy your Pato Bear uh, story hours, right? I'll leave that at that, right? And there's nothing you can do about it. In fact, if you protest, you'll go to jail, and they'll take your kids anyway. You know, we're going to do that. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube is at youtube.com forward slash JFC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right side of this page so you can continue growing this channel. All right, so I get hungry, um, so I probably going to have to eat before I lift weights because I have to take two days off. Not, because, not just because I was sore, but I was starting to get a little weak too from low energy and lack of sleep. But now, like, everything's good, so it should be. Three Tamaguchi. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. So anyway, enjoy your straight day, uh, weekend and today as well. And uh, yeah, today's Friday. So yeah, I don't expect much to happen with crypto now that I know that yeah, people are probably pricing in not only a Joe Biden presidency, but they don't actually know like American elections are a major event. I do remember like the day the election was called for Trump, Bitcoin like just shot up in price or something like that. It'll be interesting to see uh, if the Bitcoin price will shoot up in price once either Joe Biden wins or really just anybody. Well, obviously, someone's going to win the election, right? So maybe it's just simply the uncertainty of a new American president or maybe Trump gets reelected. Like people don't really know. But, you know, but, you know, there's a 50 50 chance, essentially. Well, actually, it's more, you know, 50 cent, 40 cent, 4 percent. But like there's only two outcomes, right? And regardless of the outcome, someone's going to lose. A lot of people are going to lose, and that's going to affect the markets right there, right then and there. The currency markets, everyone's going to adjust their portfolios, right? People who are betting on Trump getting reelected just get fucked, so they're going to sell and dump and move. People who are betting that Joe Biden was going to win are going to get fucked, all right? Assuming, assuming like Trump wins and Biden loses, or vice versa, then you know the supporters of the, you know. Of that outcome are going to just start dumping but either way there's get, someone's going to be dumping and they're going to be dumping a lot so yeah you know so all right we'll, we'll just chill in the meantime then all right see you all on monday unless of course something major happens um yeah pretty much start to Carson, my pd chess seattle are they sending the cops in here yet uh yeah, I mean, it actually seems pretty nice and peaceful so far. Um, yeah. All right, because if something bad were really happening, either on either side, we would have heard about it by now. All right, very good. All right, see you all on Monday. Oh, we probably need a... Um, that's what, yeah, I don't care about this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll use the, we'll add the headline. All right, see you Monday. Thanks. Johnson Chan. James C. Coin, 404 Coin, and eh, it's actually uh, pretty nice.